Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Well, this is the final review on our Pocket Page mini album tutorial series. Um, so I just wanted to share with you my completed mini album. So what I did on the front cover, um, as you can see, I have quite a lot going on. Not too much, I hope. I added some metal here in the corner, and that's from uh, Butterbee Scraps Zip It Store. And then I used one of the chipboard pieces from the paper collection that says girl on it. It's got a cute little baby right here. I added some prima bling here and here, some pearls. A doily in the background. And then um, these flowers here are recollections. And this blue one and pink one are also from recollections. And then this big, large yellow one is one that I created myself with a punch. And I sprayed it with um, some glimmer, uh, not glimmer, some Lindy Stamp Gang in California Poppy made a little stick pin here and then this is actually a little crochet doily that I just folded in half and tucked underneath there. Um, I have a key here as well from uh, Butterbee Scrap Sibbit store and then I have a little garment pin that I'm dangling it from. This crocheted trim right here was actually from the paper collection and on the binding here on the side I went ahead and added this fabulous ruffled rose at trim that I got from Lavish Laces so Thank you. She sent me some um, trims to try out, and oh my gosh, her stuff is amazing. So I will put a link to her Etsy shop in the description box below, so you really have got to see all of her stuff. It's phenomenal. So I did put that on the binding because I just thought it was stunning. And then here is, again, the back. So real quick, as you can see, I chunked it up quite a bit, so I can't do too much more to it because otherwise it won't close. So you open it up on the inside front cover. Again, I used a chipboard piece here, some Recollections uh, pearls, another die cut from the paper collection, and then this is just a little clothespin with a rose attached to it that I got from uh, Michaels, and then I got three little tags here from the that I just cut out from the paper collection. So those go back in there. And then real quick, you already saw the, most of the pages that I did all the decorating on with all the tags, and these little things I left open so the photos can go behind there. And then here's my photo mats that are double sided. And again, this piece I put a magnet in and it folds down. And I still do need to make me a tag for that. Oopsie. And then again, my photo mat here. And you flip it over, and then this will flip open. It says sitter notes, and then you can put a picture here. Another little chipboard piece. And these are my tags um, that I created. And I went ahead and used my Stampin' Up! tab punch uh, along with the scallop circle punch for the pull tabs on these. And again, the back, I just, again, here's the other tag on this one. And again, this one flips over. I did leave this little frame open so the photo can go back there. Same with this. This is open as well. And then again, this is open here. And this is just some seam binding that I had in my stash that I'd already pre-colored with some um, Lindy Stamp Gang. Uh, again, I used uh, one of the die cuts from the paper collection and added three tags right here. And another uh, Recollections flower here. And the photo mat. And you flip it over. Love the little bunny. And here's the tags that go inside this. I just added some flowers to the top of each of these. Flip it open. Cute little darling girl. I made this a little pocket here. And I got two more tags in there. And then um, I put a doily in the background here. And then I this is a chipboard piece. And then another chipboard piece. And I only glued the chis this down here so you can set a photo in there or some tags if you want. And again, here's the photo mat in here. So I like how it turned out, and I love this paper collection. I'd already used it once, but I had originally bought it for this particular tutorial. So, And then again, on the back here, this is our little fold-out where we created the little closure with the twine. opens like this. And it closes back up like this. And then this is a little fold out, fold out that I shared the link with you to the tutorial on how to create that. And it opens like 
this and flips up and it opens and then I stuck this tag in here and the little stork bingo card in this last pocket. So that's my mini album totally completed. I hope you guys had a good time and I hope you created something and if you did create something along with me I hope you uh, share what you created because I would love to see what everybody made. So there you go everybody. That's the final mini album for our pocket page mini album tutorial series. Thank you so much for participating and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.